Hi and welcome to Step by Step. Um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, airflow and air pumps. Um, seems like a boring subject, but uh, why do we have them? Uh, two main reasons in a biob. Uh, the first one and the obvious one is uh, for oxygen uh, within the water. So they, uh, the air pump um, provides air bubbles and that and also the agitation on the surface of the water aids in the oxygen within the aquarium um, and also they have a function within the biorb of being part of the filtration system so by forcing air up through the central tube water is is pulled in through the filter and then waste is trapped within the filter so in a biorb it has a, a dual function I have heard recently from a number of uh, comments made on the channel about um, smaller uh, biobs, and we're, uh, we're talking mainly the 15 litre one where it seems to be an issue, where people have asked about the, the amount of air that's going through. And I've actually seen, I, I saw a video that someone did on the channel, and to say it was more like an, um, it was more like a jacuzzi than it was an aquarium. And I don't know if it's a problem just with the small aquariums, the 15 litres, or if it's maybe something that Bio have done in terms of their pump. But, um, especially with those small aquariums, a lot of people are probably going to be using or or putting in their uh, Siamese, uh, Japanese uh, sort of fighting fish. Um, and those fish are not very well suited to having a, a large water flow. They don't like it at all, in reality. They struggle, because of the size of their tails and a range of other things, with a high flow of water. And you will find, if you've got a very high uh, level, they, they will tend to keep quite low in the aquarium, which isn't normally where you would find them. So if you have a small uh, 15 litre aquarium and your airflow doesn't look like it does here, and in this one, then if it's really, really uh, got a high flow of, of air going through, I would suggest that it's probably over the top and it is particularly over the top if you have Siamese fighting fish or beta, uh, betas. So this video is about what you do in that scenario. So it's quite easy. Um, you need to order it and what you need is an airflow regulator and there's not a lot to them. It's just a, a small tube like this with a tap on the top. And what you need to do is you need to put this in your air tube or airline as it's sometimes called. So, so this is the airline, uh, comes off and feeds into the aquarium, it feeds off the pump, it blows air down through the pipe and into the aquarium. Um, I've mentioned this before but, but this here is called a check valve and what this is to stop is water if for some reason the uh, the pump failed or you know power issue, uh, water would flow back down here and, in, and go into the pump, and it would damage your pump. So, so this is a one-way valve. So that's the purpose of this here. So, to fit one of these, you need to get the right size, and I suggest that you put it in the right place as well. So, what do you need? Now, you can get these anywhere. I will put a link in the video but you need a four to six millimeter uh, regulator valve. So they're called airflow regulator valves. And so if you get that size, four to six millimeters, it will fit the bio tube. So how do you fit them? Well, before I do that, I'm gonna suggest about where you, where you, sh you need to position it. The first thing to say is that on a biob you get roughly about um, 11 inches or so of, of tube before you get to the, uh, uh, the check valve here. So this needs to go somewhere along this part of the tube here, not above it, not above this here. Now the thing is about this is that you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need to cut the tube and then you need to put one of these on. 
Now, you might change your mind in the future about the amount of airflow you need uh, for whatever reason. It, um, it could be to do with the fish you have or something like that. So, so my suggestion is that you should fit this nearer to the pump. And I, I would suggest that you cut the tube around about at the two inch mark here. That will put the valve around about here. If you change your mind, that's fine. You can get rid of this bit of tube, get rid of the, this, and then you can just get the tube and put that back in. So, so that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna use my tube. And I'm, I've already got, I've actually got an adapter on, on this aquarium behind me as well. So, so it already has a regulator on there. This one doesn't have a regulator, but I'll put, I'll put one on anyway. So um, what you need to do, you don't need to turn off your pump because it, it doesn't take very long to do this, but I'm gonna turn it off just for a sound reason. There you go. So, uh, and you get the tube and you pull it off like that. So then what you need to do is you need some scissors and you need to cut roughly about two inches along like that so you have two bits of tube then you need to get your regulator I always put a bit of spit on these uh, and you need to push that on firmly like that with the other end same thing again push it on firmly and it looks like that. Now on the top there is a, I mentioned before, a little tap that you tighten and loosen uh, on, on the top of here. So, so we'll see what that does on, on, on the aquarium uh, when I adjust it. So once you've done that, that's that fitted, that's as easy as it is. You'll need a pair of scissors and a bit of spit. Um, put this onto, back onto your, your pump and then turn it back on again. So I can rig now. Now I've got this, so that so the pump is now working. The airflow is going through. I can regulate the amount of flow. I'm going to tighten it down here, so you can see it's hardly there's hardly any air there. And then as I lift, unscrew this a bit more, you get the airflow back in, and, and you can adjust upwards and downwards uh, the airflow like that. So I would suggest for, for most people, having an airflow that looks something like that is sort of what you need to have for most tropical fish. I think that, that is fine. If you've really got a lot of bubbling, I, I think you might have too much, to be honest. So something like that. If, if you've got um, a uh, fighting uh, fish and it's clearly not happy with the amount of flow, depending on on what type you have, but uh, certainly I wouldn't have it much higher than what it is there. You, you, you could bring it down a bit, something like this, and slowly bring it down to just a to just a low flow like that. Now the thing about um, sort of beta or uh, fighting fish, I'm going to put this down on the floor, is like some other uh, fish species or related uh, fish species, they can they have a, a special adaption uh, which is called a labyrinth, and and that's almost like an organ that acts as as a lung. So not only can they breathe underwater, but they can take oxygen directly from from the air as well from the surface, and you and you'll see that quite a bit in uh, sort of beta. Uh, fighting fish, but you'll also see it because uh, gouramis also have the same thing. So you'll often see either of those fish the, that they often come up to the surface, and and they do it regardless of the airflow. I, I find so that's the point about the uh, beta because they are particularly um, um, sort of fussy over, over uh, water flow at a high level. That if you have it on low, that will encourage them to come up and do what they normally do. 
So that is all you need to do. So I'll put a link into where you can get that type of product. You can get them anywhere. You can probably uh, get them down your local aquarium supply shop, uh, but you can get them online, uh, almost next day delivery. Very easy to fit. Um, so do it. If you've got that issue, get it sorted out for your fish because it is too high. Um, if anybody's got a similar scenario with the larger bio aquariums, drop me a line just out of interest. Um, I'm just trying to establish if it's something that the bio have changed in their in their pumps uh, to get a higher flow through. So, so that's all you need to do. Um, the other thing, while I'm talking about air pumps, I think it's worth just getting a spare one of these, um, um, I would suggest, because they only cost about £10. So, you know, you never know when something's going to go wrong with it. So it, it's best, I've, I've got a spare one, and um, it's just for a just-in-case scenario. So if the pump fails, I can just quickly put on a new air pump and get some air running through there. Um, so a new pump, a replacement pump's about £10, but you, you, uh, they also, uh, buy themselves actually sell um, a replacement tube, which also comes with a, a check valve, and they're £4.50, uh, it's English money. Um, so, it, just so you know, but certainly get yourself a spare one of these for that day when something uh, doesn't work. Um, and that's it. Um, any problems with any of that, uh, hopefully you won't have because it, it's probably one of the easiest things you can do. You just need a pair of these. Um, drop me a comment and I, I'll get back to you. So that's it from me. Um, I hope you found that useful and if you have had an airflow problem in your aquarium and you didn't know it, you do now and you know how to fix it. I hope you found that useful. I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.